Hey everybody, so we're going to do a quick tutorial on using the, uh, the SelfCAD um, design tools to modify, quickly modify STL files uh, to add features, remove features, you know, put some holes in it, whatever you want to do. Um, and it's a, it's a free tool. Um, this this video is not sponsored. I just, you know, poke around, find, find stuff and see how good it is. And uh, I like how simple this one is to use compared to some of the other ones when it comes to modifying STL files. So you'll roll over to selfcad.com, you'll create a free account, um, and then uh, launch the editor. Um, and this isn't like a you know free trial thing, so so far, at least to date, it's, um, it's all free. So, uh, so what we'll do here is now that we're in the space, we're going to add an STL file. Now it does have its own sort of 3D generation stuff so here, so you can do your own shapes and drawings and things like that and do design within the tool. We're going to focus specifically on importing an existing model and modifying it. So you'll go to File, you'll go to Import. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, this little Bulbasaur that I've been uh, using to, to basically play around with. Um, depending on the size of your file, it, it might take a few minutes or a few seconds, depending, you know, if it's a big old high detailed uh, model, it could take some time to bring it over the internet and pop it into the browser. Um, so here we go, and it has uh, brought it in on its face. So we want to go ahead and, and rotate this. So you just basically make sure that you're selected. And you'll know if you're selected because certain items will be grayed out. And if you click on it, it'll tell you, hey, select an object. So you can pick it here, or you can pick it over here, um, either way. And then you hit the rotate, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate them on the X at 90 degrees. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and scale this just while we're at it. And if you want to scale it uniformly, I think what you do is here you pick this very center um, uh, circle there, and then you can scale it in or out like that. If you're grabbing any of these other little guys, it's going to scale it just in those planes or axes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, if you want to get out of this navigation, you just click this X. And so now we have a scaled model here. And what I want to do, at least in this case for demonstration purposes, is um, I want to just cut a hole right through right through the back side here. And so like you would in, in other um, um, drawing softwares, you know, you can either draw up a plane and put something off of that. Uh, this is, I'm going to do this dead simple, and I'm going to say add a shape. I'm going to add a cylinder and it's going to throw something down here at the bottom here. That's basically, you know, a, a 12 millimeter diameter hole. And I think for, for, or a cylinder. So I think in this case, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and position it because he's rolling front to back and I want to go side to side here. So we will um, go ahead and accept that shape itself, but I'm going to go ahead and scale that now. And you can see I'm only, um, the only thing selected is that, that new cylinder mesh. I have not selected the bubble sort itself, uh, which is sort of key in this in this case. So we want to we want to rotate on the uh, on the Y. So I'm just going to do a simple 90 degree rotation, and then it's down here at the bottom. And now I just want to move it up to the side here. So I'm going to change my view orientation like so, and I'm going to hit the move icon and just simply move this up and this over and get a good look at it and go, yep, that's okay with me. And so now what we want to do is actually do what's called a stitch and scoop. And uh, so I think in this case, what you want to do is have both selected so that your stitch and scoop is now active. You click stitch and scoop um, and you can do a union. So you're combining those two things together. We're going to do a difference or just where they intersect. And in this case, we want to do a difference. So click that and it, and it asks you to select the object to subtract. So I want to subtract this object from the mesh. So we're going to pick mesh 32 and you can get a little preview um, after you've deselected that or, or moused away from it. It'll do that little process guy here. Um, this may take a little bit of time. If you're, I know, I've also found that if you're combining features, it could take a little bit of time. Um, so we'll see, see what happens here. And there we go. So we're all cut through now. So super simple. So now we've got a hole um, blown through the side of this thing. And we didn't have to do a bunch of mesh conversion, mesh to body, or any of that stuff. Really, really simple. 
Um, and so from here, if you're done, it's it's uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, actually, we, we do want to make sure we accept this change so it finalizes that difference. Um, and then as soon as this is done, we'll export this. So to export this now, you go File, Export. It'll give you lots of different options to export as um, self cat file or you know a PNG image or um, STL. Um, OBJs, um, lots of lots of different options here. So, you know, if you're going to pump this out to your printer, then STL file, and then it'll throw it into your downloads, and then you can either um, pull it into your slicer, you can, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. So let's go to the let's add a feature um, instead of removing a feature, and then we'll combine. So we'll we'll do another 3D shape, and let's say we're going to add a ring, you know, up here at the top. So let's do a 3D shape. Let's do a quick torus. Um, and it's going to throw it down here at the bottom. It looks, uh, where is it? Oh, it's hiding inside the middle there. So that's okay. Uh, it's a little, it looks like it's going to be a six millimeter, um, by one millimeter, uh, or sorry, two millimeter, um, diameter down the ring. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And, uh, since it's sort of hiding right now, we've only got that mesh selected here. Let's move it so we can actually position it where we want. So we'll move this up, um, move this over a bit, and then let's uh, rotate. We'll rotate this one on X. And so now we can fine tune the position here just a tad. So uh, it's actually not horrible. So let's move this just a, just a little bit in. Hello. Move it in. Touch down. There we go. And so now when we want to uh, combine two shapes, uh, we make sure that they're both selected over here on the right. So we're going to tick and tick. Uh, we're going to go here to Utilities, and we're going to say Combine. And it's asking which method we want to use to group those objects. And I want to go ahead and merge them together. Um, and it can, um, you can, you can select it to remove like interfaces. So any of those, those inner facets that are interchanging, it can remove those. I think in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the way it is. Uh, hit the checkbox there and we'll let it do its thing. And there we go. So that's complete. Um, that only took a few seconds. Maybe 10, 15 seconds or something. So now we've got a, you know, a, a modified STL file here, and we will just do the same thing and do a file in the next part. And um, we'll export this one as uh, an OBJ. Uh, I don't really matter. And that'll export, that'll dump into your, um, uh, your downloads folder, and you're set to go. So there you go, look at uh, one more a uh, good option on modifying STLs, and um, so give it a shot. I uh, hope it works out for you. Thanks.